what's going on YouTube I'm just waiting on my drill to charge and uh, I gotta drill this uh, access hole out for that truss rod to fit in I showed you in another video I think this has to go through the hole this is actually this doesn't turn this part doesn't turn this is only a sleeve uh, the screw down inside of there is what you actually turn but this whole uh, sleeve has got to come up through that truss rod hole you know where you can get a wrench on it and uh, as wide as this piece is I'm going to have to route out a, a, a wider spot here than the channel of the, that the rod's going to lay in itself well I got to I got to make the whole channel wider so that'll fit down in there but uh, I have to make it up here at the nut extra wide so that thing will go down in there. It's, you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the rod itself. A little bit bigger, it's not a whole lot, but you know, like I say, that sleeve's got to come up through the access hole so you can get a four millimeter wrench on it to adjust the rod. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to drill that hole out. Uh, there's a piece of metal in there, I showed it to you. It's like an insert. It's a little, uh, I can't see you, baby. It's like a little uh, insert is all it was that the old truss rod came through like a washer with a uh, it was inserted into the wood anyways I want to drill right through all that and uh, drill out this is uh, oh, I wrote it down I done measured this and I forgot what what size it was like uh, uh, 300 and some thousands I think I can't remember man any I'll find it and find the right drill bit of course before I do this actually I'm gonna start with a littler bit and work my way up to this size so as soon as the drill gets charged up we'll get on with it hold on one drill bit through. recording yeah we are so I got it drilled out I got the, uh, the truss will fit into the slot now but it's uh, I've got to widen it on back here a little bit more it still won't go in goes in about halfway halfway the uh, length of the truss rod it feels like maybe I could force it in there but I'm not going to do that I need to take a little bit more out right there But, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back and we'll make a little bit more progress. Man, i got to cool off. It's hot as crap in here right now. <laughs> adjustment on it there's two rods here one on top a square one and a round one on the bottom and the one on the bottom is the one with the adjustment and that's the one that goes on the bottom oh, she 
she's a good snug tight fit too. Yes sir. Route it out and fit. I'm going to make sure that's flat with the uh, bottom of the fretboard when we put the fretboard back on it. And it is. That's freaking perfect, baby. Excellent. Now, I always put the cue balls here. This truss rod has got, I'll probably never get that back out of there. It's got, it's wrapped in some kind of stuff to protect it from the glue and from uh, eliminate vibrations. I don't know, baby. I'll catch you in a minute. And I always fill this, uh, this entire channel with, uh, uh, silicone, caulking. It's not going to hurt anything. I mean, it's just going to take up all the extra room in there. And there's not very much on this at all. I mean, very little bit of extra room at all. But I still want to fill up, you know, put caulking under the truss rod, put the truss rod in, and then fill these little gaps along the side a little bit with caulking. And let all that set up. In fact, we'll... i got to get this back out of here. So, hold on. I'll show you what's going on as soon as I get my shit together. <laughs> Folks, here's the stuff that I use. The silicone caulking. Uh, like I say, I like to put a little line of this under the truss rod. And uh, then put the truss rod in and fill any little gaps or whatever with this stuff. It's not going to you know, hurt anything and it'll help keep... This, this truss rod's not going to rattle because it's... Uh, they wrapped it with some kind of stuff to prevent rattling and seal it from glue. Or, you know, anything that you put around there like this. I always did use this stuff. I've got some other latex caulking here, but I don't, I'm not going to trust that. I never did use that before. The clear silicone uh, caulking like this, if you ever have to get back in there again, you know, just a little bit of heat on it, man, it peels off like skin. And then... Uh, after it sets up, and while it's in there, you know, it'll flex with the neck when you tighten or loosen that truss rod. You know, if you got to do anything, any adjustments or anything like that, it gives with it. And it also gives a little support, you know, like I said, keeps it from any rattling or anything like that from happening or going on inside this channel. So, uh, I guess I'll check the camera now and see what all I've lost, <laughs> how many files I actually deleted or I don't know what happened to them. I, I, like I said I was looking at them. They were there and then they were gone. It was like I don't know seven, eight maybe and then there were like four or five. I, I don't know what happened but I'm afraid I may have lost a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I don't know. Anyways I'll pick back up on this tomorrow and uh, put the caulk in, put the truss rod in get everything uh, ready. I'm going to sand this old glue off of the neck here and off of the fretboard and uh, get ready to put the fretboard back on this puppy. So I apologize sincerely for this video. I know it's going to probably be crappy as shit <laughs> but uh, I don't know what happened. There's just too many things going on to keep up with you know and when I'm doing a job like this I don't want to have to deal with company and talk and stuff you know and I like to get my head into it and keep it in in the job so anyways I'll get caulking tomorrow I was going to say this is dried up check that out I cut it open and it's just uh, solid inside but anyways I'll bring you back when I have the caulking and we get ready to put this thing in uh, finally cheers to you thanks for watching uh, my apologies again for this video it's probably going to be kind of a funky one <laughs> maybe I can get the files back I don't know maybe nothing really happened to them I just have to take a closer look they might still be in there who knows baby anyways for me and cue ball cheers peace and rock on tell them I love you Ooh. I love you
love you. Got all the old glue off of that fretboard. Uh, it had, you know, let's see a little bit more. Had a lot of old glue left on there, and I wanted to get it off before we insert the truss rod into this thing permanently. I gotta sweep all that out. Man, this video is gonna be funky. It's gonna be, uh, <clears throat> got some caulking here. There we go. Got brand new caulking now. Had to make a little run out, pick up several things. So, uh, yeah, man. This is going to be one funky video. Hold on, let me sweep all this crap up and let's get on with this. Ready to go? Hear them? Let's go get some birdies. And here we go. Like I said, I just want to put a... Uh, I know you don't see this every day on guitar channels. Uh, a very thin line. When you know that cocksucker stomped up. We want to run a very thin line of this down the back side of the channel. And then. Set the truss rod right in it, right down into it. This will assure us there's no vibrating going on with the truss rod or nothing, you know, to move or make any unwanted noise when the guitar is being played. I did this for many years over many many guitars and like I say if you ever have to take it back out of there then you know the only thing you got to do is put a little bit of heat on it pop the thing out and uh, peel it off it peels off just like skin now the bottom rod with the adjustment sleeve we want to go in there first and I want that to stick out Just enough to get a be able to get a wrench on it. Oh, that is one good tight fit right there, boys. That's perfect. Now we want to just pump a little bit of this all around both sides of the truss rod. Like I say, that sleeve doesn't turn, so. And that's good. I'll go over this with a uh, sand, sand that off a little bit once this sets up. We get everything where we want it. Excellent, man. Already. She's in there, folks. So I got all the old glue off. I need to get the fretboard out here and sand all of that old glue away. Uh, need to fix these cracks. See, if there's two pretty big cracks back here, I showed you. We'll glue those up. Make sure they're sealed. Do like we did the other, the, what was that, that Martin guitar. Put the band clamp around it. Get everything ready. Put a bead of glue on each crack. Use, uh, oh, where's my little sucking device? Can't find it, but it's a suction cup. Work that up and down on that crack, and that forces that glue down into the crack. I always put a mirror inside, and I can see it when it starts coming through there. I know I've got glue completely through the crack. Like I say, have the band clamp ready and immediately start tightening it up until we get squeezed out and let that set for 24 hours or so. 
might do that on the next video or we might just go ahead on the next video and probably we'll go ahead on the next video and put the fretboard back on it like I say I gotta sand all this off again make sure none of that uh, silicone is on this wood the bare wood we just want bare wood to bare wood when we put that fretboard back on no silicone no old glue nothing you know in there uh, that'll probably be the next video the uh, the fretboard replacement. I still got it clamped up over there. So, uh, and again, I apologize for this video. I don't know what it's going to be when it comes out on the computer and is rendered. It's probably going to be all screwed up because I lost a lot of shit. And I'm not even sure what they were yet until I get this on the computer and render it. Hopefully, I can patch it up enough together so you can get some. Uh, enjoyment out of it maybe a few laughs something anything uh so i guess i'll say cheers to you and i'll see you on the next video watch for uh quick clip tips you probably see one or two of those before you see the fretboard replacement who knows man fretboard replacement may be just as soon as the caulk sets up i don't know anyways cheers to you guys i usually don't smoke on these videos much but uh I haven't smoked much today, so I'm, I'm catching back up. I'm trying to get caught back up. So, thanks for watching. Cheers to you, and I'll see you on the next one. Drink more beer.